seeing all these remakes or homages to older levels just makes me think wow if they were to redo sonic adventure 2 modernly like on a better engine and you know change the way it worked a little here and there to make it you know improve on it uh it could be amazing hello Hatbank here, and I just wanted to say real quick, if you've been enjoying my content, please remember to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and follow me on Twitch so you can always catch us when we're live and see more content. Also, if you are new here, welcome in, and if you're enjoying the video, please remember to like it because it helps me out a lot. I also post funny clips and other things on TikTok. All the links are in the description below, and thanks again. Now let's get into the video. Welcome back to... Legend of Sonic Blue is the Hedgehog. We are in the last area, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. And um, we're getting the first two emeralds here. Keys for portals, yeah. So yeah, it's another emerald situation. Because the last island we did, what, there were no emeralds. It was all the towers. We were shutting down the towers and then that got us here. Oh, whoa. Oh. Collect these heart-shaped memory tokens. Talk to Sage! Oh, nice! We're talking to Sage now! That actually makes perfect sense. Uh, now I think about it. So I need a gear. So I need to talk to... Not talk to Sage, but I need to uh, fight something. Are you going to take me somewhere? Or no. No, you took me nowhere. Wow, your XP is not even worth it. One, there's like none, and two, it like goes all the way over here. Oh, is this the Guardian? Cool. Red Pillar. Okay. This one's red. I feel like they ran out of enemy designs at one point. They just they really reuse these tower things a lot. What? What? All right, aim on him. Oh man, could you like actually do your moves? He just won't. He just won't do the combo moves or do I have to have full energy or something? Oh man, this is frustrating. Okay. I guess I'll just hit his face. Hey, look, combos. Wow. You remembered how to do them. That's great. It's Sonic. Okay, geez, two Wilkers. Where was that level? I think it was over there, right? Because I went on this thing, came over here, and I think I shot myself over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really excited to finish this game, um, mostly because I'm still pretty unclear on what's happened a lot, and I, I would like a lot more clarity on that, but also, the sooner I finish this game, the sooner I'm prepared for Dead Space, uh, which comes out January 27th. Um, and I want to start that the day it comes out, so I might actually do like a weird little thing there. <laughs> but since there's no video Friday this week, um, instead of streaming Spider-Man on Friday, I'm going to be streaming Spider-Man on Thursday. Yeah, um, lots of weird changes to recording anytime I travel, but I try and let you guys know. Recording, streaming, all that. Oh! All right. Oh, you know what? I haven't even been paying attention to the red coins or anything. I just got distracted talking. This dubstep, though. And it really, it's like industrial dubstep, which obviously fits the theme of this area really well. So good. 
This is straight out of a Sonic 2 level, Sonic Adventure 2 level. Why can't I pan the camera? Oh, I have no camera control? That's rad, game. Yeah, why would I want camera control in a platformer? All right. Boop. Again, I did it again. But yeah, this is reminiscent of Metal Harbor. That's what it's called. Metal Harbor and Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, I can see the influence, but it's mixed with that old Sega feel, which is really cool. Like that, this right here is very similar to the start. Metal Harbor is literally the level you get line dash and then you get line dash in an area like this. And so like, it goes like that, and then you use like a little hook thing to go up. You get line dash, take to the next area. Jets go. Bomb the uh, airstrip in front of you, and then you hit a checkpoint. Yeah. Someone out there knows exactly what I'm talking about, and they're keeping up with everything I'm saying. They're like, yeah, dude. But most of you probably like, what? What? I really like how I can see the clear influences from older levels that were classic, but it doesn't just feel like a copy-paste and a recreation. It feels like a decent homage, um, or like a reinventing of the same concept. I think they did a good job in that regard. Oh my god, Metal Harbor is the one that ends with you taking a rocket like that onto something just like this! You're climbing a rocket to grab it! And then it goes straight into City Escape? No, not City Escape. No, because City Escape's the first level. Uh, I don't know what it goes into after Metal Harbor. Maybe the forest. What?! That's crazy because it ends with you! Oh, wow. The parallels are so good. Oh my god, and I'm missing one red coin that sucks butts. Man, playing this game just it's messed up. Cause I even I don't like just the trend of remaking games on some level, but I also like seeing games modernize at the same time when they're reimagined. Like Dead Space supposedly fleshes out the side story a lot more and adds some cutscenes. Nothing that changes the main story, but things that just make the universe more filled out. Really excited for that concept. Um, and I would love to see something like that for Sonic Adventure 2, is what I was leading up to. Like, seeing all these remakes or homages to older levels just makes me think, wow, if they were to redo Sonic Adventure 2 modernly, like on a better engine and, you know, change the way it worked a little here and there to make it, you know, improve on it, uh, it could be amazing. Amazing. And that's probably my favorite Sonic game of all time. Although this one's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've had a lot of fun playing this game and like it has not been hard to like come back to it and like play it every week. I'm actually curious about the story. Oh man. Um, yeah, it's, got, it's kinda got a lot going for it. Or at least more going for it than any Sonic game has had in a while. I can say that at least. I don't know. What is this? Oh, do I have to hit you into hoops? Catch the falling... Wait, what? Catch the falling what? What? That's it? Okay. I assume those are gonna get harder later on, right? Hopefully. Okay, Coco -co dude. There's the emerald. Little levels, couple more guardians. I don't have enough for the emerald yet. Whoa! I whoa! This is like the first one that's not like black. It's gold. This is weird. They're usually all black and red. Oh whoa! Are these good? Okay, so red's bad, green's good, or blue's good. Okay, yep. I'm doing great. And then I do this, and then this, and then this. Oh. Okay. Jump. Jump. 
I move too fast when I boost. It's crazy. Oh my god. I need more rings. Time out, little caterpillar. Let me get more rings. Okay. Oh, what does gold mean? Okay. Is this good? Are we fighting now? For real? Oh, yeah. Quit, quit crawling away from my stuff. Oh, God. Can I just hit you? Oh, I have to hit the back? Okay. That's easy. Oh, okay, back to this. This is what I mean by the Guardian fights are like, maybe some of my favorites. Cause like, these are interesting mechanics. I've had to take my time, I've had to learn it. And I feel like the Titan fights, while they're really cool, they go by really fast. Oh God. You know? I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I'm a fan. How did I already have zero rings? Wow, that took so many rings. What? Dude, you're kidding me. Oh, let's just try and get through this as quick as possible. Wow. What hole? Would you actually... Wow! Thank you. Oh, it's so close. Oh, it's done. Cool. Woo! I just had to really buckle down and go for it. What? Oh, those are enemies. Okay. I thought that was like a new character. Oh, Kunochi? Kunoichi? Kunoichi. I'm almost for certain pronouncing that wrong. Nice with the recover. Oh god, that move is so devastating. That was probably one of the best purchases is the uh hitting A during a combo makes me like do that crazy attack and then go like it, it just does so much damage really fast. I wonder what level this is going to be modeled after. Oh, this already feels like uh, Highway, what is it, Highway 101 with Sonic, or with Shadow? Yeah. Oh wait, if I remember right, I've read about this level. Okay, maybe I haven't read about this level. I read about one level where like there's a mechanic of the entire level where you go on these special boosters and it makes you run a special way and honest to god the easiest way to beat the level is to not use the mechanic they've laid out because it's it's not good whoa whoa Okay, there's no way I'm getting all the red rings, but there is a way. Oh my god. Well, I gotta retry, but there is a way that I'm gonna murder this S time. If I go that red hoop route. Wow, I wish uh, line dashing didn't like Stop me dead in my tracks. I'm not seeing any red coins. There's one though. I knew I probably missed one. Perfect. I don't know what's happening. Okay. 
Wow, that was incredibly nerve-wracking. What, a tank? Okay. Okay. I'm fighting helicopters now? This is very reminiscent of Highway 101, because you're, like, a, a lot of Sonic Adventure 2, you're running away from the military, which is kind of weird. But they think Sonic is Shadow, so they're like, oh, we gotta get this hedgehog. Because apparently everyone's colorblind. I never understood that, even as a child. I was like, how do people think Shadow is Sonic? They don't even look alike. Like, what? And they sound different? Like, there's so many reasons why. Is it just because they're like, I'm only aware of one hedgehog that's, like, alive. You know? But isn't Amy a hedgehog also? I don't know. Wow, I did bad. I did real bad. Alright, so S ranks 115. Find all red stars. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep re replaying this one. I want to try and at least get all seven here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is cool. Oh my gosh! That skipped me through like the entire level! Uh, uh. Yes, dude, S rank, let's go. What was it, 108? 109. Boom! Okay. Grab this real quick. I, I'll have to go back and look in, I guess no, the order of emeralds you get probably isn't the same every time because if you unlock several like I just did this just there, it's up to you on which order you grab them in. That only took three vault keys? I thought it took seven for each one. Wait, I didn't lose any vault keys? What? Now I'm really confused. Shouldn't I have nine vault keys now? Or not? Is it doing that thing where it like visually glitches and it won't update until I get another one? Get the Chaos Emerald. Okay. Whoops. Over here? Yes. Hello, let's talk. I had secured Dr. Eggman in cyberspace to protect him from the impending destruction. I had hoped to keep out external variables as well. You were not meant to come here. Yeah, I huh. figured that out. I understand now why you locked my friends in the cyber cages and fought me. I wasn't exactly going to leave the Titans alone either. It's too late for an I'm sorry from either of us. Better to focus on making things right. Okay. Interesting. It's interesting to me that she trapped Sonic's friends in cyberspace to protect them. Is the reason he couldn't come here because of the corruption he received from this old monster deity we released? Um, is that like what I'm trying to understand? Well, this is a cool looking tower. Oh, okay, so this is the, this is where we're gonna go. That makes sense. Oh, there's like guardian towers here. This is cool. Oh, I'm excited to learn about this. Okay, I'd love to talk to Sage again. Obviously, I don't necessarily know where she is since it's not having me talk to her. I, I don't know why Sonic, maybe it's because it goes all the way back to the Sega generation and Sega consoles, but Sonic has always had this, like, heavy incorporation of old classic games. And I, I like that. I think it's cool. Obviously, it's a little goofy and doesn't necessarily fit in with the lore. It's very just video game mechanic-y. But I don't mind that at all. Um, I don't care if my video game 
really feels like a video game sometimes. I don't need Sonic to be incredibly immersive and realistic. It's about a talking blue hedgehog. Oh, I messed up. Damn. Oh no, it's purple before black. Oh. Okay. So. Fun down. And Patty. Where's Patty? Here's Patty. Come on. And then Pickles. Where's Pickles? This is Pickles. Pickles. Now purple. This is how they get ya. This has to slip in right there. Yes. And then this goes on like a little collar. Boom. Third trust charm. Oh cool, Sage is right there. Bad. Well if if Sage is just over there. I'm gonna go talk to her. Is that this way? Right behind me. What are you talking about? To my right, what are thou talking about, Willis? Oh, hello. Let me just grab these memories. Never mind, it wasn't memories. I lied. Hello. Yo. So, did cyberspace actually interact with my brain? It was designed to catalog neural networks, among other things. So, yes. Huh. Right, hear me out. Do you think all those locations I visited were pulled from my memories? That is plausible. It imported the data of your memories and applied it to your surroundings so you could comprehend them. Maybe that gave me the edge I needed to escape each time. I was covering familiar ground. <laughs> Go me. They incorporated a reason why they were homages. That's awesome. That's awesome. I know that's obviously just explaining it away, kind of, in so many words, but, uh... <laughs> That, I like that. I like that a lot. I like the fact that they address it. I like the fact that Oh my god, that's awesome. And I still have 13 vault keys. That's crazy Maybe each one just costs more vault keys, but you get to keep them and I haven't noticed that until now All right, that's awesome, dude That only took six. Does it double each time? Cool. Collect Sage's memory tokens? What? Where do you want me to go? Wants me to go all the way over there? Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Needed 17. Oh, wow. But uh, thanks again for watching. Those of you who are watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. As always, follow me at Half Pint Streams on Twitch so you can catch us live, join us in the chat, or Half Pint Streams at TikTok or on YouTube so you can catch my best moments, funny clips in the form of shorts. Um, I will see you later, Warehouse. Catch you on the flippity flip. Thanks for watching, guys. Follow me on Twitch to join us live. Like and subscribe, and I will catch you later.